Hey guys, Wrench here. Just wanted to demonstrate a little something that I've been working on. Uh, we're actually going to be using this in an upcoming uh, weekly flight night, so we'll see how it works. So the first thing is I have the a do script for the F10 map, which uh, I can show you really quick. This is just a quick test version, and this allows us to run Lewis scripts from the F10 map. Um, as long as the string that we enter starts with dash do. This can be changed to something for security, uh, like effectively like a password. You just have to change it in these two areas. So uh, with that said, we're also running the, a zoo script that I downloaded from the forums and have customized to some degree. So let's go ahead and run the mission and we'll see how this all works together. Okay, so here we are in the mission. We're gonna go ahead and unpause and let some scripts load just for a second or two. So we see that I have the IAD script running and there are no SAMs. That's because there are, of course, no SAMs on the map. So we're going to use Zeus to spawn a couple of SAMs. I helpfully put in the commands in the briefing so that we don't have to type them. We can just copy them. So I'm going to create an S2 and a Tor. And then we're going to set it up so that the S2 operates as a... Um, point defense. So we're first going to add both SAM sites. So I have these uh, commands written out helpfully for myself so I can copy and paste them. Th you have to do it a couple of times because it's limited to how many characters you can have, but you can run multiple lines at one time. Alright, so that defined the SA-15 Tor, and now that sets it as point defense for the S2. Now we're just going to do a couple edits here. And there we go. So now we can see, if I pause, we have two SAMs, one of which is on. They are both in autonomous mode. And it doesn't say so, but the SA-15 is operating as point defense for the SA-2. So that's just a quick uh, example of what we can do with that. And uh, just demonstrating basically what I'm going to be doing for this week's mission in the Sting Race. So, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in, and keep me updated. Uh, let me know, rather, if uh, you guys would be interested in this getting released. There is one downside to this whole system, which is DCS scripts are kind of inherently un insecure. So the do script, if you were to say change this do, um, like what I might do is say like password oops, equals and then the string, right? And then what I'm going to do is replace these with password. All right, so now all that one would do if they went to use this was they'd come up with a password and now they'd have to type that instead of do um, for the system to work. The problem is this would get packaged into a mission and those missions get distributed when people join uh, a server. So the problem is they could go in to the mission file. Um, you know, so if we go to tracks multiplayer and here's the missions for every track I've played since last time I deleted it so for example here's my air cav mission I can open this in 7-zip I can come down to where's it uh, Lion default now here's all the the scripts all right so then I could see what that password is then I can go into your server and spam whatever commands I want to uh, to really mess things up one way to get around that potentially would be to use load file um, or rather an assert uh, load file and this would be as a trigger so that um, that file would not get packaged into the mission they wouldn't have access to this password the downside to that is it you have to use this directory and if this file gets deleted or moved or renamed the mission will crash so I don't know if this is something I'm going to distribute um, but you know if guys are willing to accept the risks because I'm certainly not going to uh, accept any liability for it uh, if guys want to accept the risks 
and uh, have a play with all this, I'll go ahead and uh, post it on the forums. But other than that, I think uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.